Richard Madden can run me over with a bus and I'd still suck that dick. Um, in that order? Yeah, we see your backside. Yeah, we do. You, yeah. There's a bit of bum there, yeah. yeah. Um, secret skills? I don't really have any secret skills. I, I wish I did. Come on, what, you have to give me one secret skill. So, I'm late to the party and finally watching Bodyguard and I think I'm pregnant after just looking at Richard Madden, which is something that does happen and you must be careful. Yeah, there's the spurting. Still spurting. Oh, and then that scream she does. My favourite movie growing up, and still is, uh, is going to be Jurassic Park. It's a perfect film. I still love the, you know, the T-Rex breaking out of the enclosure and the kids getting crushed in the mud. And I mean, it was a great movie. <laughs> I watch it like twice a year. It's my go-to. I was thinking about Richard Madden on my flight and my nipples got hard, which might have just been the aircon, to be fair. I don't remember my first day. It mustn't, well, obviously it didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I don't remember it. The shoulders, I'm sorry, everyone. That's all we have. Oh, there's a little Oh, there's more. another one. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> and then there was... I don't... I just looked like a potato for, for most of my younger years. Really? A very, yeah, it's a big, a big potato, really. <laughs> What, you were a uh, little, little chubby Madden? Well, I wasn't little, it was big, big <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, oh. I was quite large Madden, actually. Right. Um, this is why you go to class, <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> no, they're never happy about the butt. And I've kind of, I've made a few mistakes in my time, which is, um, is neglecting to tell my mother that there's going to be a sex scene in the show and then and get a kind of hysterical phone call of, you must tell me and your father. I'm, I was watching it at the time, I had a cup of tea, I nearly spilled it. <laughs> and now she closes her eyes. Yeah, yeah, it would be awkward to see that. Yeah, it's I not mean... fun for it. Taron Egerton and Richard Madden are going to play a couple. Thank you, gay gods. I didn't realise they were gay gods, um, but they have bestowed that gift upon us. But I didn't wear denim till I was 18 because denim's hard to take up at the bottom, <laughs> so my mum couldn't do it. Oh, I was really? A lot of chinos. A lot of chinos, a lot, lot, uh, lot of sweatpants. Yeah. Richard Madden's jawline gives me man boners. And I appreciate that. Here I am. Oh, she does. She loves it as her favourite gag. Cos my father's also called Richard. Yeah. Which translates as big dick and little dick. <laughs> I feel just so dirty even saying the story. Uh, <laughs> it's, more, it's like a dance, actually, cos you kind of go, right, First one hits here, so you like this, and then you've got one there, so you like that, but then you've got one in your legs, so it's like that. You're kind of like a strange puppet. Oh, <laughs> down she goes. He was that red dress thing, you're like... Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of... Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, it's Disney, and I'm in skin-tight, quite thin, white um, trousers, or, or maybe some people would say leggings. I don't like to use that word. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really rude you've made me watch this. No, I love a good death. Um, I've had a few really good deaths in my time. I think Game of Thrones, The Red Wedding was was a pretty good one. Man, it was really, really tight. And, and we tried it and they're going, hmm, yes, oh, this works, mm -hmm, mm. great, and chatting amongst themselves. And then they turned away and, and then Sandy turned to me and I was like, tears welling in eyes. <laughs> I'm going to be sick, please. <laughs> And then I rushed to get on the last flight back to London. And I remember being on this, this flight back to London, covered in fake blood, exhausted, and just sobbing very loudly on the plane. Um, and people looking at me quite strangely, because it looks like I just murdered someone and got on a flight, which in fact I hadn't. I'd been murdered. 